Hey there, thanks for taking the time. Dr. Barry Reed, Mason Spine and Injury Center here in the greater Cincinnati area. Um, want to take just a moment to review with you why a certain doctor's office is important to refer your clients to. When people have been hurt in an accident, from an attorney's point of view, you want someone who can assess accurately what happened, potentially be able to help them through the treatment process, give them realistic recommendations on how to overcome and recover the best that they can, both in the office and at home. If they need to be removed from work, fantastic. Make sure that they know how to do the paperwork. All of these things, from your point of view, are extremely important in helping you be able to build a decent case for these people. Because as you very well know, the insurance companies are going to squash everything that either the plaintiff's attorney or the doctor's office says. We want to help these people through that process. And we want to make sure that you know what we can do. So this video has just a very little bit of what we would like to make sure that you guys know, you guys and gals know what we do, where if you need our help, we'll be happy to help you. Um, typical personal injury cases are soft tissue injuries, sprain strain, some offices will only diagnose a very small number of diagnoses. And it's been my experience that when we, as the treating physician, diagnose all of the injuries, bruises, any cuts, um, concussions, um, if their ankle kicked the bottom of the dashboard area and there's a bruise, take a picture of it, make sure it's documented accurately. When you put all that stuff together, you put all these items together that are completely legitimate and completely authentic that happened as a direct and proximal result of the mechanism of the car crash and we present that information to you, it makes your job easier. And that's what I'm here to do. Uh, in a few minutes, I'm gonna give you a tour of the office where you can see for yourself that this is a clean, professional, doctor's office looking type space. Um, Concussions. Lots of concussions are overlooked when there is a car accident case. Um, anybody can, can uh, diagnose a sprain strain, but we have a very good way of knowing who has a concussion and who doesn't. And I can go through that on another video, the details. Um, we also have a neurologist who comes to this office once every week or so to evaluate suspected concussion-based cases. They write a report. From that, I know which parts of the brain need to be rehabilitated and recover properly, and we go through a protocol that goes through that process very well. It's based on physical therapy, uh, and actually it's based on um, visual, the visual part of the brain and the back of the brain that helps re-coordinate all those bits and pieces to uh, recover from the concussions. And speaking of concussions, I have personal experience with concussions and soft tissue injuries and whiplash situations. So I know how difficult, hopefully you don't have personal experience, but I sure know how difficult it is to recover from a set of injuries. It's really difficult. Um, also, at the conclusion of treatment, I like to write what I call a brief narrative. The brief narrative goes through that, in this case, Mrs. Jones' case, the mechanism of her injury, whether there's a rotational component, a contra-coup-based component, they hit a tree, if another car struck them from the side, from the back, from the front, how that mechanism is likely to have either caused or not caused the injuries that Mrs. Jones sustained. Also, is that mechanism of injury consistent and congruent with what Mrs. Jones, as the patient, is telling me? Does Mrs. Jones walk normally? Does she sit down and turn her head very easily? 
If so, then we're gonna put that in the notes somewhere. If it's all consistent and congruent, the mechanism of injury, the way that Mrs. Jones presents, the way that she describes her pain, the way that she is unable to turn her head or shoulder or knee or back, the x-rays, does the x-rays also reveal consistency and congruency with all of the other factors? I put all that in a narrative. I put a lot of other things in the narrative also. Did they miss any work? Was it reasonable that they had to miss work? If Mrs. Jones has a neck, back, and shoulder-based injury from the car accident, and she works by packing boxes or lifting things, then it's probably uh, better to at least give her the option of light duty, and if the employer doesn't offer that, then let's make sure that she gets the opportunity to miss work at the minimum, still be able to retain her possibility of job without jeopardizing her position, and return her to work when she's able to return. Um, put that in there. How did the injuries affect her? What was she not able to do? Or what modifications did she need to make? Did she need to miss work? Did she have to ask for help? Did she need someone else to clean her house or someone else to help her at work because she wasn't able to perform the duties without either making the pain worse or creating a scenario that you know was difficult for her concussion? All of these things in a brief narrative help you, the plaintiff attorney, know what happened in this case. And you can make it very specific for Ms. Jones when you submit that information in the demand. Um, also, we don't treat people forever. We treat them up to the point that I think it's very reasonable that they have reached a plateau in their care. I'm not here to run up a bill. I'm here to make sure that they get the very best recovery treatment that's available, whether it's in this office or physical therapy, combination of both. If they can do stretches at home and use some ice and make a few modifications, then we mix all that together based on the case. And then we put it together for you at the end to understand what it is that happened with your client. Um, we've been doing this a while. We like what we do. We have a very clean, comfortable, professional looking space in this office. Um, and I like some of my colleagues don't like them working with attorneys, but I do. I understand your point of view. I understand what you need. And I want to make sure that you realize I will deliver it at my very best level. Um, I'd like to walk through the office very briefly to let you uh, see it's a small office, but it's very decent and it's clean and it's comfortable. So I'm going to take you with me. Sorry about the movement. This is the back door. Okay, that's cool. X-ray suite. This is a digital x-ray suite. Pretty straightforward. This is the front of the office. Hello, good afternoon guys. Reception, filling out paperwork, clean, comfortable. We have our uh, television that has information that's changed weekly. We have the calendars. Hello, Ashley. Hi. Um, we have a couple of different rooms for therapies. This is one of them. This is another one. And basically that's the tour. Again, if you have any questions, if I can ever be of assistance, if you'd like me to review a case for you, please let us know. Again, Dr. Barry Reed, Mason Spine and Injury Center. Thank you again for taking the time. I know this video is rather raw, but uh, we shoot it straight and we're happy to help you if we can. Thank you.